Last Dead. I'm back to you to bring back another video. Uh, it's AKA Pat Psy Parasite now. Um, I haven't bring you any more any videos in a while because um, I've just been getting on with my studies and um, doing graphic design, coding and stuff. But um, enough about my boring reality. Uh, let's get back to the game. All right. Um, we're playing a 1v1 map on uh, Nerezium Cat Crypt. And um, this match is pretty close, it's pretty interesting. And um, I was uh, having a um, muta rush, um, kind of a muta rush build in mine, because uh, it was against Terran. And um, yeah, Terran's immobility plus their, um, plus the speed of the mutas can just, can just send a Terran army everywhere, like uh, back to base, back to your base. But um, now, <clears throat> It's, uh, I might have to upload this video in two parts, but um, it doesn't matter. But, um, anyways, I'm just keeping up with that drone, uh, drone saturation and um, getting a 14 hatchery. I just bring up the production tab. Hatcheries gone down. Um, I'll, this this replays in my view, so we'll be playing fine. But I'll, I'll show you before the engagement what Terran had and what I had before the major battles, and just give an overview of what we have on the battlefield. Here we go. Fourteen spawning pool, so fourteen spawning pool, and then I came out with that extractor. At 14 again and then drained up one more time so back to 14 and dropped to spawning pool. Now I'm just free to drain up to 16. Stop and then uh, build up my queen after that. But build an overlord before your queen. Um, now if you do successful muta rush, like say if you get no harassments, I mean it's pretty, uh, when you're doing a muta rush you're pretty open to early pressure so you know you want to be cautious and be very, uh, have map control and be aware of what's going on before you uh, make any uh, concerning decisions. Alright, I want to get that saturated. I had a little mistake there, I lost my first overlord, which was pretty bad, I always do that. But hey, this is Silver League. Here we go, got a few drones here. Get them nice and saturated. Build your queen, we're going to get that second extractor straight away. I mean, the reason why I didn't go for a full meter rush and didn't get my meters out on nine minutes, that's the, the timing that you should, timing window that you should aim for, um, uh, was because I just needed to scout and just make sure that, you know, I wasn't going to bump into anything too early pressure. Go back to Yeah, I did my name change. Pretty big blizzard name change on it. Uh, I mean, I'm not too happy about Psy Parasite. I was thinking about changing it because we already got a cast of him, so you know, not that I'm ripping on him, ripping on him or anything, but yeah. You know, I respect his his uh, job as a caster. Well, not a job, but his hobby as a caster. Pretty sure he's Australian as well. I'm Australian. I want to keep up with those injects as well as, as much as possible. I usually put all my queens to hotkey four, and then all my hatcheries to hotkey five. So if I want to, uh, say if I'm here on the map and I'm controlling this unit, um, I can just uh, click 4, press V, and then click on the minimap where my hatcheries are. V, here, click, V, click, and then um, it will automatically inject, it will inject the larvae without me having to um, leave the, the area of the map, a certain area of the map that you might be paying attention to. Going for my lair now, I want to get as much gas as possible. So, Got those extractors out. Got a couple of zerglings to defend, a couple of spine crawlers just in case of pressure. Just take a little bit near the counting station. We have 
but let's see, 27 drones to 22 SUVs. So my, uh, yeah, my opponent wasn't really making uh, workers as efficiently as he should have. Really, you want to be making workers all the time. Um, but there are certain times, like when you want to attack, like you don't want to um, build more units, uh, build more workers. You want to build uh, attack units. Got my overlord spread out as well, not all in one place, just for scouting in case it's time to drops. Um, right. Got my spies going down. Banning this just in case. Heavy rain pressure. Yeah, I haven't casted much videos because yeah, uh, the first first video I casted was just really a test to see how much uh, viewers I'm getting a year. And um, yeah, it was about 200 views, not too bad. There I scout the uh, oh I missed that. So I scout the uh, Terran moving out there to secure his expansion with one Zerling. It's always good to just. Send it one zero into his base, see what's going down. Spire's almost done. And 100 health left to go. Yeah, I haven't cast much videos because, yeah, that was a test to see how many views we had. 200, which was not too bad, which, you know, I'd, I'd really like some more viewers, so it'd be really great if you guys could recommend this video to your friends if they like StarCraft and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I got my Swire out and a big thun blunder here was I I didn't realise these stores were coming out and I was building my third, so I let that build. And here come a new river, so I got nine. Usually you get nine as soon as you get your Spire out and I'm getting attacked. So here I basically decided to just go for it. Do as much damage as possible can, then you can. But um, try to save as many drones as possible. This is a pretty threatening attack. I mean, let's see here. 17 Marines and 2 Fords and a couple of SCVs for repairs. He's not going to too well to the early here. In any case, he's not going too well either. I'm destroying all his SCVs. Killing that supply detail. Yeah, yes, fly, my goodies, fly. But it's Things I'm looking too good to destroy my natural base and now with balls and moving up into my main. Uh, here I'm trying to mount up a banning attack, trying to get my banlings and all my drones, get a good surround. Here I am, banlings on the marines, can I get them? Yep, nice, nice marine hits. I almost got all the marines now, it's just balls and marauders. Uh, drones here just dying here, this, this is humanity. My, my home country, no. My spotting pool. And over my third, no mining and nothing's going on. And here I'm building a couple of zergings to help the But here my muters are still harassing his main base. A um, couple of marines here, take out one muter, that's alright. Four muters to clean that up. And everything's just gone down. And my entire glare's gone down. All I have now is my third, which is not even got any way to get it. So now it's just a base race basically. And I don't know about the DPS of Muters, but Muters have pretty good DPS, but their attacks are just pretty weak against buildings and stuff like units. Uh, yeah, I got one Zagli attacking on the horror then, and kills it. And here I basically think I have to build here now or never. Now or never. Come on Muters, magic box, magic box those doors. It's a very tense moment here. Yeah. Oh, Excellent poor, sorry there guys. Right? Um, they know what was going on there. And I mean two fours, marauders aren't doing nothing. One drone here to attack the marauders killed and trained. Five meters left. Five meters left. One door goes down. Last four's left. It door goes down. Only marauders on the map. Oh my god. When I destroyed those doors, it was like overwhelming. It was like a wave of comfortness just surrounded me.